Hey guys, in this video, I will show you what to do if the Face ID feature stopped working after the iOS 13.5 update. After the recent iOS 13.5 update, a lot of users complained about getting an error message, Face ID not available, when trying to use Face ID on their iPhone. Others said that the feature is not working at all. There are various reasons as to why Face ID is not working properly, if you're one of the people bugged by this problem, here's what you need to do. First solution, force restart your iPhone. If the Face ID has been working properly prior to the update, then the problem could be just due to a pretty minor firmware issue. The first thing that you have to do is the forced restart. It's a simulated battery removal that has been proven effective against issues like this. Here's how it's done. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. Immediately after releasing the volume down button, press and hold the side or power key for 10 seconds. This will trigger the device to power down and turn back up. Once you see the Apple logo, release the power key and wait until the restart is finished. After doing this, try to see if the Face ID is now working properly. Second solution, reset Face ID and set it up again. Perhaps the current Face ID has not been set up properly, or it might have been corrupted. The best thing to do is to delete the existing Face ID and set it up again. To access Face ID, launch settings from the home screen. Scroll down to find Face ID and passcode, and then tap on it. If prompted, enter your security lock or passcode. Tap Reset Face ID, but if you've already done that, touch Set up Face ID instead. Now, follow on-screen instructions to set up Face ID on your iPhone. If for some reason, Face ID still does not work properly after this, then you have no other choice but to reset your iPhone as it can be a firmware issue. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. If the problem continues after the previous solution, then it's time to reset your iPhone. A reset should be able to fix this problem, but before you actually do that, make sure to create a backup of your important files as they will be deleted. When ready, follow these steps to reset your iPhone. From the home screen, tap Settings. Find and tap General. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Tap Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap Erase Now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.